Hello, welcome to another Silver Sages Sharing Stories. Today I've broken our rules. I'm speaking with a lovely woman who isn't a Silver Sage. Yes, she's wise. Yes. And yes, and yes, she's got lots to share with you. But the reason that I've invited this person along to speak today is because of the benefits that she has given to, that I've seen her give to so many people who are of the Silver Sage age group. I'd like you to have a big warm welcome to Liz Rad. Uh, usually known as Matt and Liz Rad, but today Liz is here on her own and uh, has much to tell us and much to share with us. Liz, thank you so much for taking part in this interview. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's wonderful to be here. And I'm really excited to share some, some stories and some inspiration and, and hopefully some information so that um, uh, your listeners can go out and, and do something with it too. Fabulous, fabulous. Just give us a little snippet about your background for you and, and Matt. Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, I guess, so yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking about a lot of technical stuff and online stuff. And just to give you a bit of an idea of where we've come from, it is not that at all. <laughs> we're actually, Matt and I um, trained as zoologists. So, we studied red kangaroos and that was where our life was going initially. So, we're scientists and, and love nature and we both grew up on farms. So, that's where we came from. But um, pretty early in our careers in zoology, we realised that if we actually wanted to set ourselves up with some security for the future, um, we needed to do something different something or something else as well because we could see, even back then, 20 odd years ago or more even, that we, I was watching my parents and my grandparents and thinking, okay, I don't think there's gonna be much for us when we retire. So even back then we were thinking, okay, we need to do something different. And that's when we got into business. So we, we bought a little business and we renovated it. And then we actually started doing that more and more, just buying and renovating and selling businesses. But then when the internet came along and kids came along, we thought we wanna do something that's even more leveraged than that. So that's when we got online and started doing basically like that strategy. What we do is buy and renovate assets, but they just happen to be online assets. So instead of property or shares or, or a businesses offline, we do that with online, online businesses, I guess, yes. or assets. And you teach lots of people to do that. We do. We have a wonderful time. One of the biggest things, our mission now is, um, is also to help other people achieve that same thing. Because I think one of, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things that held us back right at the beginning and that we were most frightened of was the tech, the technical side. We had no experience at all online. And I remember looking at websites and thinking, oh, gosh, that looks hard. <laughs> and so it's really hard when you don't so, know how. Yes. And so we really realized that. And once we'd been through that process, and we went through it, you know, quite a few years ago when it was actually quite difficult and you had to learn programming and things. And it was so neat. These days it's much easier. And, mm. and one of our missions is to help other people starting from zero to get online and actually realize that there is a way to generate income in a different way and build up some assets too for your future, um, even if you're starting from absolute zero. So a lot, most of our clients are probably of Silver Sage age group and, and that's who we love working with because um, I think the best, I think the first comments that came through and that I loved most was, oh my goodness, I know more about the internet than my child, children or my grandchildren do. <laughs> Like, ah, <laughs> that's so. really good. Yes, I, I yeah. know uh, things that I've been to that you've been uh, uh, running. Um, certainly, my age group has been very well represented. I've also loved yeah. to see uh, whole family groups. That's been the other, um, you know, yeah. you expect to see the young techie type people. Not that many of them there. They probably think they already know it. But the, uh, the family groups, the, the couples who are preparing for retirement, the older people who are past retirement seem to be a very big part of the people that you help. And, and certainly I know that you've help, helped a lot of them to do some amazing things. Could you share a few yeah. stories? Yeah, incredible stuff. Um, all right, so who will I start with? Well, certainly, I mean, Lucy and Gary are, are a really good example of 
uh, they were a, a couple who they were in business and they actually owned a big offline business which was getting disrupted by mm -hmm. the online world. So it was a big in, important distribution business. And um, so they, you know, what they thought they'd built up as a really nice solid asset, suddenly when the internet came along and, and everyone started ordering stuff online, they realized they had to do something, change tack and very quickly. And um, the other thing, which Lucy doesn't mind me sharing, she uh, had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So she wasn't able to work a normal, well, what, what I say, normal sort of stressful job anymore. And so they were looking for something different. And when they first started with us, absolutely no, no idea online, um, but really determined to learn and to create something for themselves. And, and they took, you know, that, that took them um, a good year of training to go through that process and, and practice and learn. And after that, they started investing in some, so they started investing in some little websites, renovating them. And then once they'd learned the ropes, they stepped up to some bigger ones. And actually our favorite story is one, the first sort of big one that they bought was one for $20,000 and they bought that and renovated it. And now it makes like $13,000 a month. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go. So they bought and they bought quite a few other uh, websites and now they have a portfolio of them and, and those guys have $100,000 months now. So it's, it's just, and, and here's two people who started out absolutely no tech at all mm -hmm. um, and now making full-time incomes online. So that's the wonderful thing. I think the other, the other couple that I, I really want to mention is um, Neil and Mary, who are just amazing. Um, I don't want to mention ages because I don't want to, um, no. I don't want to make, get that wrong, but let's say they are Silver Sage, definitely. Um, but what they realised is they needed to keep working. So I think like a lot of people, you get to the age where you think you would have retired, but they realised we can't and we need to keep working. But they wanted to still... Um, I think a lot of people in that situation think, oh, well, it's too late. I, ha I can't afford property and I haven't got time, you know, that time buffer for property to grow. And um, I, can't, I, haven't, I haven't got enough money to put in shares to actually generate a decent income out of that. Mm -hmm. So they feel a bit lost. They don't know what to do. And so Neil and Mary, when they came to us, again, completely non-tech savvy at all, but they learned how to build websites. So that's the other, the big skill that we start everyone with is, okay, let's learn how to put together a website, including some of the techie stuff. So you get to understand how all this, like all the jargon and all the words that are used. And, and then what you can do is actually take action on all the ideas. And I think that's the wonderful thing as well. These guys work in, a, I can't say what industry they're in, but they're still working, but part-time in the background now, they're building this beautiful directory site uh, in their industry. So the goal is once they do retire, it's actually already generating leads for this industry and they're getting paid to refer people in this industry. And so they're building this nice lead generation asset that's paying them and going to grow and be an asset for them and some cash flow in what they already know. So they already know the industry had all the contacts. And so they can leverage what they already had in by putting those digital skills now together. They can now make money out of something that they thought they were just going to have to work at forever and then, and then retire and make nothing. So that's, I think it's the empowerment of realizing that, there is actually knowledge or skills or connections and things that are locked up in your brain that you can actually monetize and create something for yourself reasonably quickly mm. with. You talked about the, the first lot of people and said they'd bought the site for $20,000. Um, that is further down the track for most people who start out with you. I, in fact, met, I bought Boomer's Next Step for $300. That was my very first purchase. And then I became obsessed with it and didn't buy any more, which was very, very silly of me. Um, but it's because of me seeing that that was a mistake that I want to share this with other people. But I do know that lots of people have bought their first few sites at very low prices and they've then built them up. Yeah, Knowing well, that's how to build a website, um, there'd be people who'd be watching this who say, well, 
you know, I've got skills. I just want to build a little website to, or I need a website to promote what I want to do. Yeah. Is it, does it okay. take people a long time through your program to learn how to build a website? Yeah, good question. So, yeah, you're very right. Um, Lucy and Gary, um, they wanted to buy and like any investment, you need to learn. Before you invest money in anything, you need to learn how it works. And they did start out mm. very smart, like you, buying small sites under $500 and doing those small renovations. That's the wonderful thing about this market too. You can start with a little site and to scale that up when you're ready and if you've got the cash flow. Um, but yes, yeah, so in terms of um, building websites, the, the leverage there is that you don't even have to invest any money. You can build it yourself. Um, so with our, what we have is the Web Dev Accelerator Program. We put that together specifically so that people could learn that skill quite quickly. So in eight hours of training, we can get you building your first website. Mm. So it's, I mean, it might, some people, it takes a couple of weeks or or maybe even a few weeks because you've got to get around the, you know, you just can take it at your own pace. That's the other thing too. Everyone's at their own pace and there's no rush. So some people take a little bit of more time and, and want to, and need to just step through the process. And, and we have people on board here who, you know, you can ring up and book in with and, and get a bit of a hand as you go through. But um some people, like, they pick it up so quickly. And actually, our record, it wasn't his first site, but um, one of our clients, they brought their whole family on board and they've got their kids involved. And um, he's only 13 and he built his site in 43 minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. And probably yes. wondered why it takes older people longer to do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But that's the thing. The first time you do anything, it always takes a lot longer. Yeah. But that's okay because you're learning the processes and each time you do it, you get faster and faster and faster. And that's, yeah. I think that's the other, that's that wonderful comment that so many of our students say, hey, well, I know more about this than my kids do because they've just taken it step by step through. And then once you've got that foundation down, you can then, whatever idea you have, bam, you can put that, bring that into reality. Most people end up being able to build a website in kind of a weekend, two or three days, which is amazing. So somebody who is thinking about starting a business and they just need a website to promote themselves could do that and go through yeah. that process and create their own website. Yeah. For the people who purchase the websites, Liz, what sort of money are they worth? I mean, I don't question. mean to buy. I mean, once they build them up, you know, let's yeah. say somebody buys a website. It's got good potential. They work on it for a year or so. They might put quite a bit of effort into it. What sort mm -hmm. of, is it worth it financially? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're talking about, well, either building or buying. So if you build up, so the, the sort of websites that we focus on are ones that are very leveraged. So they're mm -hmm. ones that, um, we don't, it's no e-commerce. This is one of the big misconceptions is that people think we do e-commerce. We actually don't do any product or no, we don't buy or sell any product. So they're very leveraged. So they're reasonably quick and easy to work on. And the main thing that we do in our renovations is redesign, like tidy up the website so that we've got, make sure that people can see the offers and are able to contact and we make sure we've got benefits on there. But also what we do is we add content so that it ranks well in the search engine. So if someone looks up your what your business does, your website comes up and, and you're the one that gets the call. So that process, that's what we do. So that's like you said, over that year or a couple of years, we grow that website. And websites tend to be valued on a multiplier of their profit. Um, so for, for ones that we buy, it tends to be, okay, if it's making $1,000 a month, It'll be worth in this market now anywhere between 20 to 30 times that amount. So that might be a 20 to $30,000 website that you've got there. Others, other examples though, it depends who you sell it to. So we've got a student at the moment who just built a website from scratch uh, not that long ago, probably I think about a year or two years at the most. And he built it around a specific industry um online like that needs leads sort of mm -hmm. like tradies that's a tradie type thing and um he got it ranking and got it getting lots of traffic and lots of leads coming in he's just sold that website for one hundred and ninety thousand dollars. oh fantastic 
Yeah. Isn't that exciting? So, yeah, very exciting. We're really, we're just celebrating with him at the moment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now that's wonderful. I mean, we hear these stories about websites that sell for ridiculous amounts of money sometimes. But yeah, oh yeah. You well, always it, you always presume that it's been some big company that's developed it for sale. Whereas yes. in this case it's a person. Yes, exactly. With the and, right and, knowledge. Yeah, that's right. And and so I, I think that's really empowering to know that individuals can do this. So there's more and more, interestingly, there's more and more um, big um, corporates who are doing this, who've realised, oh, my goodness, this is such a leveraged, powerful strategy. But it, that may, there's more and more that, that we can do that too. And mm. so it is a, I think a lot of people think, oh, yeah, like uh, online marketing, isn't that, that a bit scammy and stuff? But when you actually look at the industry, we're talking businesses that are worth tens of millions or even hundreds of millions of dollars down to, uh, you know, people, you and ordinary people like us who can have a piece of that pie. It's just like actually uh, property investing. You know how yep. there's the massive corporates who invest in big businesses and or commercial and do those massive developments. But that doesn't, that may, there's still lots of room in the market for the smaller people who can make a lot of good money as well. So, yeah. And for the people who are watching this who, who aren't familiar with this concept, how do people make money from a website? Oh, well, many, many different ways. But if you go with our strategy, because we're very much about leverage. So we, like we said before, I don't want to be buying myself a job. I want to be buying myself a, an asset with cash flow. So whenever we buy websites, they, they make money from, basically they, they answer questions and solve problems. Um, so a, a good example, one that we bought um, about cars, just reviewing cars, um, cars that were being released, all sorts of, you know, Mitsubishi Pajeros, um, Holden Barinas, whatever they are, just reviewing all these cars. And that's information that's for free on the website. But what we do is we put advertising on that website. So it's like we own our own sort of online newspaper in a very specific topic. And advertisers of course in car cars they want to put their cars or whatever it is on that website and we partner with google google adsense program and google puts the ads on there and every time someone clicks on an ad we share in some of that money and the good thing about that is when that click we don't have to do anything we don't have to deliver a product or handle refunds or buy stock or you know have shipments delayed in on the sea we just make money from a click and it's Excellent. the same the other favorite one we do is affiliate products so if we do want to have a website about a particular product so we've got one that's um treadmills so at the moment that's going off off because everybody's looking for home you know, exercise equipment mm -hmm. and if someone clicks on one of the treadmills on our website we don't we just send them to amazon so we send them to you know one of the world's biggest retailers and when they buy off Amazon, we get paid a commission for sending, sending them over there. So that's just that, that's how we do it. The very leveraged, making sure that when a sale's made or to make money, we're not having to deliver anything but the customer, basically. So much easier than so many other ways, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, um, my understanding at, especially if, Go on. Well, especially if you're looking at retirement. So because a lot of the people we work with are looking at, okay, we're we're setting up for retirement. We want mm -hmm. something that's going to pay us ongoing that's going to um, not mean that we have to work nine to five every day to maintain and also something that we could sell potentially. If we needed money, um, we want something we can sell. So this, these are good, like nice assets that are reasonably quick, like relatively quick to develop or buy and then um, actually relatively quick to sell as well. Um, unlike property or like a business, an offline business, which can take months or even years to sell, websites can be sold within weeks. And at a time like now, when the share market is up and down and, and mm. not looking terribly healthy, and when property is, you know, a bit of a worry, and retail isn't doing too well, this is really an asset that, that seems to be a very solid investment. 
Um, I mean, you know, obviously, I yeah, every investment ha- carries some risk. You have to be yeah. really upfront about that. Um, but because the returns are so high and also because you're getting that skill as well. So not only can you have your assets, you can also have a money-making skill that you can apply to other things, your own business and all that. Just having that knowledge is very, very, I, we believe is very, very powerful. That's our motto is we give people skills for life like so that they can generate income in all sorts of different ways. And, um, and yeah, so going forward, I think digital assets, yeah, because that return is so high, even if a website doesn't perform as well as you wanted it to, we've got one client at the moment who she bought a website and it actually dropped down a bit. And she was sort of saying to me, oh my goodness, what do I do? And you know, we're just putting in place a renovation plan. It'll come back up. We'll add more content. We'd, we were fixing a few things there that needed to be fixed. But when we worked it out, you know, she's still getting triple, oh no, probably 10 times the return on that than she would if money in the bank or money in you know, various other assets at the moment. So that's, that's we, we always, we're very risk averse. We don't want to risk. So we always invest in a way that we make sure we kind of cover ourselves. And even in worst case scenario, the returns are still there and and we're still getting that return on our money. I remember when I went to your workshop last year, uh, there were a couple of um, family groups where Mm. they had almost, they'd created an agency, a digital agency through this so that the younger members of the family were working with the older members of the family to create a very solid business that just happened to be online. Yeah, oh, we've got lots of families doing that now. It's awesome. Can you explain um, how you a might... digital agency works? Yeah, so what these guys are doing is taking the skills that we teach them and build and using them to build websites for other businesses. So in Australia alone, I think there's 46, I'm, I'm shocked at this figure, bigger, 46% of businesses still today don't have a website. Oh, dear. So, and certainly with Corona at the moment, um, with what's going on and businesses realising, oh, my goodness, everyone's got to go online. They can't buy from me from a shop front. Mm-hmm. I have to have an online presence. Um, so these guys are helping small businesses or some bigger businesses get online and, and have a website that generates leads and sales for that business. And, yeah, these guys are... Um, I think you're talking about the Annas, beautiful family. And Kristen actually started with this, I think, with us when she was 12 or 13. That's and the family, yeah. Now, yeah. And now she's full-time. She, she, oh, she's also, for her, she was quite shy and she's just blossomed. She now goes to the networking, business networking meetings as the website builder of the group. Mm. And, and she's all and of about 18 or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And same as Holly too. Holly's now owns her own company. She started with us. She came to one of our events just on her iPad. Her mum kind of dragged her along and she just sort of thought, she heard it and thought, oh, that's that's interesting. And she just started building some websites. And now she's 21 and she owns her own company. That is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And um, do you have any idea of the oldest person who is having success with your program? I know you don't go around asking for ages, but you can have a guess. (laughs) I'm not allowed to say probably their ages. Don't say their name either. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, but we have people in their 80s who are building websites. Uh, One gentleman who rebuilt his um, website for his offline business and his staff all said, oh, he can't do that. That's not going to work. And he now generates most of his leads from that website he built. That's wonderful. That yeah, is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, we've got a lot of people who are in their 70s and 80s who are also doing this just to, because it's so fun. Like it's so, uh, it's, um, it's uh, creative. Like you've got to solve problems. You've got to figure things out. It really keeps you on your toes in terms of your mind and, and what you're doing. Mm. And it's also, it's that creativeness and also the helping people. I think it's really it's really fulfilling. So when you say about the digital agency strategy, um, a lot of people are doing that. I notice that quite a few of our students are doing that because they just love helping people. Um, so they're getting paid for it, but they also really enjoy that. Okay, let's dive into this business, figure out what we need and build your website. 
And then when that business owner comes back and says, oh my goodness, I'm getting phone calls and, and leads from this, it's, it's really rewarding. Um, so that's, that's the other thing I think that, that you can do with this kind of knowledge. If you want to keep up with what's going on in the world and, and kind of get yourself up to speed, it's a really nice way to be part of something bigger and, yes. and contribute. Yeah. And I think the whole concept of learning how to make a website work well and learning how to, to buy and sell them is something that people can do at not a huge cost um, mm. and not, you know, too great an investment that makes them, you know, not sleep at night. But at the same yeah. time, they know that they're building up their assets and, you know, it's superannuation's not doing too well at the moment and all those kinds of things. So it is, yeah. that's why I really wanted to speak with you because I wanted to share with people the stories of what could actually be done and how um, very normal people like you and Matt, we'll add Matt into that, <laughs> <laughs> and even myself, are involved in, in, you know, that sort of thing. So it's not something that's just for the you know, the gorgeous 25 year olds or anything. <laughs> yeah, no, it's some, um, yeah. and certainly. And I, I think that it's really inspiring. And I, I love um, seeing our students doing that and achieving those things. Mm. Um, yeah. That's fabulous. Thank you so much for your time, Liz. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll oh, put very contact welcome. details for people so that uh, they can make contact with you if they'd like to. And yeah. I, uh, I certainly hope that, that some of the people who are looking at our Silver Sages um, uh, webinars and or interviews and reading about the different people also have a look at this because I think it's a fabulous way that they can um, start to invest in a different kind of way, yeah. but also invest in themselves. Yeah, very much so. So a, maybe this is something you'd never considered that you never thought was possible. But yeah. every day we've got people who are saying that I, I never thought I could do this, but wow, look at look at what I can do. The other important thing about it is you mentioned the brain, keeping the brain active, but oh, also yeah. it's that it's that sense of passion and purpose. When people don't have anything special that's theirs to do, um, mm. you know, they tend to drift along and life just goes by. So this is something that can become um, yeah, a very interesting uh, project for people to get involved with. Oh, I think so. Well, actually, I'll share one more story with you before we go. Lovely. Because this was one that uh, very much that. So Mike and Cindy, um, uh, Cindy actually has Parkinson's and she, so she hadn't worked for 12 years and I think she had, she'd sort of thought, well, there's nothing I can do because mm. she was in a state where she w it was very difficult for her. Um, but they trained with us and they had an idea, Cindy had an idea. So she thought, I don't, I don't know when I'm, so they do property, they, they, they've done property investment. And one of the things Cindy said she'd struggled with was when they bought a property or looked at a property, she said, I can see the room, but I could never picture what it would look like once it was renovated. I couldn't kind of get that in my head. Mm. And she said, I'd love to have a service where, you know, a, a designer would do that on a picture so I could see that. And we said, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's create that. Just build that website and let's go. And they started out just building a very simple website. And um, that's now, um, they've now signed contracts with the biggest real estate agents in Australia to deliver that product. It's a multi-million dollar idea and they just made it happen because they just understood, all right, how does a website work and how do we launch this thing? And off they went. And Fantastic. Isn't that awesome? I remember seeing so, them interviewed when uh, I was at your workshop and I yeah. was absolutely blown away by what they had achieved. It was yeah. magnificent. And to know the companies that they were working with, lots of people who um, are watching this web now uh, would be looking and um, would have already seen the work that they've done because it's on many, you know, it's on some of the very top real estate websites. Isn't so that cool? lovely, lovely Complete to talk with you. Yeah, Say hi you. to Matt for me. And uh, I thank you so much for being on this call and for sharing so much with everybody. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me, Jenny. Lovely to be here. Great pleasure. I'll turn off the recording now. Right.